breaking news overnight. You're looking live at VP candidate Mike Pence's plane on the ground at LaGuardia Airport here in New York. After that scary landing, we're going to hear from him in a moment. He's going to talk to George. But first, ABC's David Curley has the latest. He's there at LaGuardia for us this morning. Good morning, David. Morning, Robin. This is the end of the runway right behind me, and crews were working until just a few minutes ago cleaning up where this jet ended this very dangerous incident. Overnight, we have an emergency in the airport. The Boeing 737 campaign plane of vice presidential candidate Mike Pence skidded right off the end of the rainy runway at New York City's LaGuardia Airport. Tower, the aircraft is off the runway on the right side of the arrestor bed. It looks like it's intact. Emergency crews, rescue teams flooding the scene, seeing that the jet had hit the safety barrier, tore through it, and ended up on the grass next to a roadway. I heard a noise. I didn't know what it was. I looked up and I saw this Trump Pence plane making a noise, screeching, and it came to a stop right here. None of the reporters, staff, or the candidate was hurt, and they exited out the back of the jet. At a late night rally in Ohio, Donald Trump telling supporters about Pence's plane accident. The plane skidded off the runway and was uh, pretty close to grave, grave danger, but I just spoke to Mike Pence and he's fine. Governor Pence giving reporters the thumbs up as he entered his hotel after the accident. Our campaign reporter, Inez de la Quetera, was on that plane and says the touchdown was not smooth. We felt kind of a big bump upon landing and then felt the plane kind of skid off the runway. You could tell something was wrong, although it was raining, so we couldn't see anything out of our windows. The governor then came back to talk to us and, uh, and asked us if everybody was okay. And that's when we realized something was wrong because he told us that there was mud on his windows. It was 7.40 p.m. with some wind and rain when the aircraft approached the runway. As it neared the end of that runway, it ran into the emergency material called an arrestor bed. It's designed to slow the airplane down quickly if the airplane were going off the runway. Basically, lightweight crushable concrete prevented what could have been a disaster. While no one was hurt, it was a travel nightmare at one of New York's major travel hubs. LaGuardia Airport's runways shut down for nearly two hours. We've got one runway that is uh, open. Planes are landing and departing. Uh, we're going to be working with the NTSB and with the private contractor tonight to come up with a plan to remove the aircraft. So as you've seen, the aircraft has been removed and we saw these crews working to clean up all that concrete that this jet ripped through. The NTSB is on the scene, Robin. They will be investigating today, talking to the crew about what happened during that landing that ended up right here yeah, at the end of the runway. I want to get some answers. You mentioned about that concrete that's ripped up behind you, the arrestor bed. Many have never heard about that before, David. It uses a special material. How exactly does it work? So as Steve Ganyard mentioned, it's a lightweight concrete or concrete that they can get air into it. So it's, 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 it's hard but soft. So when something really heavy hits it with energy, it kind of gives way. The, the concrete gives way and absorbs the energy so it stops the jet from running into that fence that you see right behind me and onto this roadway. It did its job last night, thankfully so. All right, David, thank you very much.